drive up. How long did it take you to do these? Well, interestingly enough, I didn't uh, do this installation in a traditional way. It wasn't uh, painted by hand. Uh -huh. I actually did the illustration um, at a much smaller scale, at a smaller dimension. I scanned it into the computer, I colored it, and then large digital image files were submitted to a company that actually does large scale printing work like uh -huh. this. It's what you call a printed mural. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. All yeah. right. How awesome. long have you been um, painting? Oh, I've been an artist all my life. Oh, you're like, ah. yeah. But you had a set of what age? Not a baby. I don't so. even know. I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> what, what age is it when you're crawling around on the floor? <laughs> oh, well, hey. You're making a mess. Yeah, as far back as I can remember. What was the inspiration for this? Well, hip-hop culture is a driving force in my life, yeah. and it's kind of something that I use present day, where I infuse it in everything that I do. You know, whether I'm teaching, doing specific projects, it's always the undercurrent. Oh, yeah, amen, amen. So I have very symbolic images mm -hmm. that would remind you of something, yeah. Yeah. but it, they were used deliberately. So you'll notice when you look at it, you have two big hands right. that are sort of um, embracing a globe encased in a heart. Oh, yeah. And the hands are obviously in different skin tones. Yeah. And of course that was done deliberately. I'm borrowing a lot of the imagery in the piece from work that was on exhibit at the uh, Museum of Fine Arts. Yeah, not too long ago. Yeah, yeah. The exhibit, Writing the Future, Basquiat and the Hip Hop Generation. Yeah, yeah, that was That's the first time John michel Basquiat was, is, was exhibited in Boston. Now, this is all part of the Fenway Art Walk. So mine's right here. And the artist's name is Lonnie Wood. He was uh, known as Phase Two. And you can see right here, I have the quote preceding all of the information about the piece. And I wanted to do that to kind of give him his propers. Prior to beginning the work that I did, that, that was uh, featured in the Basquiat exhibit, phase two had passed away. Yeah. So, and I, I had the, the, the honor of knowing him. He was a yeah. friend. And I didn't get a chance to honor him in the way I would have liked to in the context of the exhibit. So I wanted to do it here. Hip hop happened. Yeah. It was not in yeah. capital yeah. letters yeah. invented. Yeah. So I teach uh, comic book classes and drawing classes at the Elliott School of Fine and Applied Arts. The Teen Bitch program is an amazing program that they have there that prepares uh, kids that want possible careers in the arts for like the real world, so to speak. People that had commissioned me to do my installation, they wanted a workshop element. So it was a perfect opportunity for me and uh, the Teen Bridge to uh, work together to kind of do it like I did. I wanted them to have their own voice within the process. That's why you see a whole lot of different representations right, here. Right, there is. I think the coolest element that I like is this tree that's right through the middle of it and it links all of the different expressions with the roots yeah. and the branches. Yeah. Right at the corner yeah. there, they have all of their names. So they're represented, you know, they're represented here, but then any passerby is going to see their name. Right, Where's your right. formal education or training? I'm a graduate of the School of the Museum of Fine Arts. Oh, okay. So how's that for irony? Hey, hey. I'm right across the street from the MFA. Yeah. Well, well, that was good that, that they did somebody in-house. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the universe. Yeah. That's God in the yeah. universe. Amen, amen. Conspiring amen. in your favor. Amen, amen. As long as you're true to you, I guess it all works out. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>